Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I have a Spanish white today. Uh, it's Cios Pla del Ladone. Um, and um, so it's a blend of Chardonnay and Viognier from Costa del Segre, uh, which is the, it, it's, it's Carver land, if you want to put, think of it uh, like that. Uh, 2013 vintage, I uh, don't know too much about the wine. Um, aged on lees for five months. Doesn't say whether it's been, uh, uh, I'm presuming it just says aged on lees. I imagine that's in a tank rather than in a barrel. So uh, let's dig in and see where we get to. Real juicy, ripe, plump. Uh, but a not too ripe peach character coming out of there. Uh, it, and, and both the Chardonnay and Viognier can do that. Can't smell any influence of oak. Maybe that Lee's ageing is giving, giving a little, t just a slight nutty character, uh, but um, it, it feels like it's going to be quite full bodied, uh, but fresh with it. Let's have a look at alcohol 13%, so not neither too high nor too low. Um, let's taste it. Fruit salad chews. Um, I can't remember the last time I had a fruit salad chew. If you're um, uh, from a, a country apart from the UK, you might not know what that, what that means. It's if, they're, if you're in the UK, uh, and um, I don't know, they, do they still do fruit salad chews? There were those ones that are like an orange bit and a, 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 a pink bit. And I think the idea was a bit of peach and a bit of raspberry. It's more the peach character I get here, but with the fruit salad chew overtone. Um, it's, uh, it's nice. I, I wouldn't say it were a stunning wine, um, lots of flavour, but on the simple side, uh, one of those wines that would probably uh, get polished off uh, with not a problem at all, but maybe not linger in the memory all that long. It's nice enough and I'd certainly get through a second glass, but um, good but not great. Hey, see you soon.